Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to factory restore your Toshiba Equium computer back to factory state. So hopefully this should be a pretty straightforward tutorial and without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we're going to start this video off by opening up the start menu just by left clicking on the start button one time. And you want to type in reset. Best match should say reset this PC right above system settings. Just left click on that match one time to open up the settings window you see right here. And now underneath recovery on the right, reset this PC. If your PC isn't running well, resetting it might help. This lets you choose to keep your personal files or remove them and then reinstall as Windows. Left click on this get started button to begin. So underneath choose an option, we have two options here. Either keep your files, which will remove apps and settings, but keeps personal files. Even though it says keeps personal files, I would still highly suggest creating a backup of your important files and documents to an external media source. Or you could start to remove everything, which will do a complete removal of your personal files, apps, and settings, and will start you back off on a clean Windows 10 slate, which is what we're going to select for this tutorial here. So we're going to have a couple more prompts we're going to have to go through before we finalize this. Next prompt, do you want to clean the drives too? So we have two options, to just remove my files and remove files and clean the drive. If you're going to be donating or giving your computer to another party, I would suggest the second option to remove files and clean the drive. If you're going to be holding on to this computer, I would suggest just selecting just remove my files will be sufficient. So I'm going to select that for this tutorial here. And we are going to have to confirm that resetting will remove all the personal files and user accounts on this PC. All apps and programs and any changes made to settings. This will take a while and your PC will restart. Left click on this reset button here to begin the process. This will take some time so please be patient. And I will jump back in with the narration once we get to a good point that further explanation is required.
Okay, so at this point you're going to enter in some information. You're going to enter your country, preferred language, keyboard layout, and what time zone you're in. And then once you've checked all of that, you're going to select Next. It'll begin applying these settings. You're going to have to accept the end user license agreement. You can use Express settings to instantly get back and speed up the process a little bit. Or you can click on Customize right here, it should be the middle button and you can customize what you're exactly installing when you're resetting Windows 10. So if you want to disable sending input data to Microsoft, you can deselect that by clicking inside of these horizontal boxes. And you can go through and check them out on your own, but I'm going to keep most of them default how they are. And I'm going to select Next here. I'm going to select Next again. Again. And you guys are more than welcome to go check through and see exactly what you are agreeing to. I'm just trying to speed this video up a little bit. Okay, so at this point you have the option to enter in your Microsoft account credentials if you were previously using a Microsoft account to use your account. You could also create a new Microsoft account or you could skip this step and create a local account on your computer, which what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to do a quick little example for you guys. I am not going to enable Cortana, so I'm going to select not now. And there we go. We can see we are logging into Windows. And it should be a fresh install of Windows we are logging into right now. Okay, so we actually have an update waiting, but I'm not going to select that, so I'm going to do not now, bottom left. Okay guys, I'm back. So our Toshiba Equium factory reset has been complete. So at this point, feel free to go ahead and put any programs back on your computer that were removed during this process, and you hopefully should be good to go. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.